that's not right. That's really not right. My Max Air Fan 4500K has a big problem. How to fix clicking noise coming from Max Fan Deluxe Roof Fan. It's uh, from e, e Trailer. And the expert reply the clicking noise that you're hearing from your Max Fan Deluxe Roof Vent actually means you need to replace the operator mechanism. And that's MA10 20281 K 1 AF. I don't know if that's uh, E Trailer's part number or Max Fans. I reached out to my contact at Max Air who confirmed this. And uh, we'll click on that part number. And uh, that's that's what the part looks like. It's a replacement operator mechanism. Sixteen dollars and thirty-nine cents. It fits a uh, a uh, Max Air seven thousand K, Max Air forty-five hundred K, which is what we have, and uh, Max Air seven thousand K. I believe the 7000 series is the uh, deluxe series with the built-in uh, uh, vent cover and our vent cover was added. So uh, since the part was so cheap I didn't bother crawling up on the roof to troubleshoot it. I just ordered one of the operators and actually ordered a spare in case it happens again on the road. I'm going to take you along with me and see if we can't fix this. Okay, we're up on the RV roof now. First thing we're going to do is uh, get the Max Air 2 vent out of the way. just hinge it back that should be good enough and now uh, we'll do a little cleanup
Now the instructions say uh, before you change that operator, first thing to do is uh, raise the vent lid about 90 percent. So I'm going to go down, back down, do that right now. Okay, we're back using the Panasonic FC1000 with external microphone. And I'm going to go ahead and the instructions say to open the lid 90%. Uh, so we're going to do that with the manual knob. Until it stops and then I'll go back the other way a little bit. Okay, it stopped. I'm going to go back a little bit so it's about 90%. And uh, we'll go back up on the roof and uh, start taking things apart. I'm, I'm using my little headlamp uh, to put, put a little light on the parts and stuff. Well, the uh, Sony chest mounts seem like a good idea in theory, but just couldn't get good angles, so got, got the action camera on a little tripod, and so first thing we're going to do with a fan is uh, uh, pull those arms loose, and we have to be careful not to lose those little white bushings, so... And I think I'll just pull one at a time and grab the bushing so we don't lose them. And uh, that's probably going to be the best way so I don't have to make another trip right now down the ladder. Okay. Now we got the bushing, so we go ahead and lift this back. And uh, now. We need to uh, take this operator off, and it looks like there's uh, two Phillips screws. And there's, uh, looks like there's a washer under each screw. This housing on this operator is all broken up. And actually, it's broken completely in half. I was surprised it was still opening the lid any at all. Okay, so. It looks similar, looks the same as the one I've got. And we'll uh, just let this lay down here like that. Now we'll get our other part. This is what it looks like. You see the teeth on the uh, where the cranking mechanism would be okay so the instructions say uh, before installing the operator turn the shaft clockwise until it stops this will put the operator in the fully closed position so we uh, got to get it in the right position which would be this uh, direction and we'll turn it clockwise it stopped almost right away so I'll it said that uh, also the next instruction said that uh, that the hex unit should be flat 
going horizontally. Uh, so you can see on the top and the bottom it's flat. It's not at an angle. So we'll call that good. Okay, so uh, now we're just going to uh, reinstall this unit, or install it for the first time I met the new unit. I'm double checking that it's flat, but you know this, uh, this arm's not totally flat here horizontally, so I'll have to turn it just a little bit clockwise. And I have to get this this orientation. Looks like it's not quite right yet for the closed position. It said it, it said in the closed position, so now I'm looking at this arm that looks uh, the arms for the that connect to the lid are about in the closed position. So I guess I'll call that good. Now. Obviously, we're going to have to go down below again and crank it back up. To be able to attach the lid. Okay, so there is this little bushing here, and I didn't see one on the other unit, so apparently uh, we don't need it. Maybe it was just to protect the, uh, the uh, shank of the operator until you got it installed. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to go go back down and uh, crank this back open again. Okay, uh, hopefully the timing is going to be good, I hope so, on the, uh, the gears and everything, or the splines. Uh, we'll go ahead and hook the arms back up, and then we're going to try it with and without the vent cover on. So... See, that's it's one. Now we'll try and do this without 
dropping or uh, bush plastic bushing. Okay. One thing that happens uh, sometimes to our uh, storage compartments and our vents is when the RV is in storage sometimes the uh, doors and lids can stick to the seal and uh, if it was doing that too bad it could be part of the reason that the old operator broke and this is my theory so I'm going to treat the seal with three in one rubber seal conditioner it's made made for RVs I uh, I didn't want to use WD-40 because it has a petroleum it's a petroleum product and not really good for rubber and I checked my can of silicone lubricant spray it was good for rubber but it said it shouldn't come in contact with plastic and so that's uh, why I bought this product that I did the most of our seals rubber seals uh, do come in contact with plastic so uh, we'll just do it okay so I'm gonna my rag's a little bit dirty but there's a clean spot on here and I'm I'm just gonna spread it around a little bit to make sure it contacts all the uh, seal and I'm put a little bit more on it okay probably better just uh, instead of using a rag to spread it just uh, use your fingers it'd be better so you don't take so much off it'd be the best way okay so I'm gonna wipe this uh, rain sensor here the product the seat the conditioner off of that okay so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, lower well no we're actually gonna have we're actually gonna have to go back down and uh, close the lid again before we put uh, the, the Max Air 2 vent cover back in place Okay, now we'll uh, resecure the Max Air 2 vent cover. Now the Max, the Max Air 2 vent cover is supposed to be good for any Max, uh, Max Air fans that uh, don't already have a built-in uh, rain cover is what I call it or vent cover but the uh, the lid of the Max Air 4500K fan it does come in contact with the Max to vent cover when it's opening but according to uh, Max Air that's acceptable the uh, uh, the fan the lid the motorized lid does stop when it comes in contact with the uh, cover Now we'll now we'll open the lid 
with the Max 2 cover on. Well, that was pretty smooth. Now we'll close the lid with the Max 2 cover on. No more loud clicks, I'm happy.